Hello guys, Rohan here. Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a professional map animation like this very easily using the Allied Motion application. So without any further ado, let's get started. If you're new to the channel, then please do subscribe now. So first of all, we need to open the Allied Motion application and create a new project. Import your map image to the timeline. Scale it up a little bit to fit the image to the screen. Now we need to import the stripe line image. All the images that are used in this edit will be available in the description. So don't worry. To remove the green background, let's add the chroma key effect. Now here, increase the threshold value all the way up until you don't see any greens. Now let's add some curl effect to give a curl effect to the stripe line. Click on add effect and search for the curl effect. Click on it and click on standard settings. Adjust the offset values to remove the stretch effect. Now choose the curl from the left and direction from the upwards. Increase or decrease the stretch values according to your needs. Now with the help of move and scale tools, adjust its position. You can adjust the rotation as well. So now let's say I want to go from Mexico to India. So adjust the stripe line according to it. Now we need to make a path. To do so, we need to select the vector drawing tool. And here we need to draw a path exactly over the stripe line. So let me show you how to do it. By swiping over the control pad, adjust the pointer position at the starting point like this. Let's zoom in to adjust it more perfectly. You can give a tap on the control pad to add a point or else you can click on this add icon to add a point. After adding the starting point, add a point at somewhere in the middle of the stripe line like this and then click on this add icon to add a point. And now add another point at the destination location. Now with the help of this side panel, swipe it to navigate to the second pointer. Now when you visit the second pointer, click on this curve handle icon to convert that sharp edge into a curve. Let's decrease the opacity to see through what's going on. Now we need to adjust the path line exactly over the stripe line. To do so, select the shape layer, click on edit points and with the help of this side panel, navigate to the second pointer. Click on this icon right here to convert it into a sharp edge and then click on it again to convert that sharp edge into a curve. So now we can see the handlebars. Select any one of those handlebars. With the help of this control pad, adjust the path exactly over the stripe line. I guess it's good enough to get rid of this spell. Click on color and fill and here click on this no fill icon to remove that fill. Now if we come back, we cannot see the path. So let's add some border to it by clicking on border and shadow. Now here enable the stroke, but still we could not able to see the stroke because we have previously minimized the opacity of it. So let's increase its opacity to the fullest. I hope you are able to see it now. Now let's add the aeroplane shape. To do that, click on add and here select the aeroplane shape. You can change it to the color of your desire by clicking on color and fill. And after choosing the color, now scale it down a little bit. Now it's time to add some effects. Click on effects, click on add effects and search for move along path effect. Now if you increase the progress value, you can see the plane follows the path. But the plane direction is wrong. So we need to set it by adjusting the orientation value. After adjusting the orientation value, now if you increase the progress value, you can see the plane is following the path perfectly. Adjust the value to 0% and add a keyframe at the beginning. Now come to 2 or 3 frames before the end of the clip and then increase the progress value to plus 100%. Now let's see what we got. To get rid of this path line that we have drawn, just hide the layer and yet you can see the plane follows the path. Now select the stripe line image layer, click on FX, click on add effect and search for the wipe effect. Click on it and click on standard settings and here select the end property and adjust its value to 0% and add a keyframe at the beginning of the frame. Now move to 2 or 3 frames before the end of the clip and adjust its value to 100%. Now let's see what we got. You can make the edit look more interesting by adding the zoom in effect. 
To do so, select all the layers and group them. Now we need to add a null object. Click on add icon, click on object or element property and here select the null tool to add a null layer. Now we need to parent the group layer to the null layer. By selecting the group layer and click on this parenting icon and select null1 to parent the group layer to the null1 layer. Now here select the null1 layer, click on move and transform and with the move tool selected, add a keyframe at the beginning. Now select the scale tool and do the same, add a keyframe at the beginning. Now come to 2 or 3 frames before the end of the clip. With the move tool selected, position the destination location at the center. Now with the scale tool, zoom it in. Now with the move tool, adjust its position at the center. I think the plane is looking too big here. Let's decrease its size by scaling it down. Yeah, now it looks perfect. You can make it more interesting by adding the location PNGs. To do so, first we need to extend the timeline of the map layer to 10 or 15 frames forward. After the plane animation gets completed, now we can only see the map. Here we should add the location PNG, come to the next frame, where the animation ends. Click on this add icon and add the location PNG from your gallery. Scale it down with the help of the scale tool. and move 2 or 3 frames forward and increase its scale. Now with the help of move tool, adjust its position. Trim the extra part to match it with the map layer duration. Here the image is scaling up right from the center of the PNG as its origin. So we don't need that. We need to scale the location PNG from the bottom. To do so, we need to change the pivot point to the bottom. Click on move and transform. Click on the move tool. Click on move tool once again. Now we can adjust the pivot point at the bottom of the location PNG with the help of this control pad. Now it is scaling up from the bottom as an origin. So now it looks perfect. Add this rectangle PNG and change its blending mode to screen. And then adjust its position. and then remove the extra parts and move it behind the location png and you can adjust its position now we need to add the text now here choose the font and its color and adjust its position over the rectangle frame i think we need to increase the size of the rectangle and the text So this is what we got after increasing the scales. You can give some animation to the PNGs to make them more interesting. So yeah, this is the final output guys.